Hey guys, Engineer Yee here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use an RFID scanner module along with a relay and an LCD. Let's begin with what parts you're going to need. Uh, this first part is optional. Uh, I'm using an LCD screen. This LCD screen has an I2C adapter on the back, so it makes the wiring a lot more simple, as you'll see further on in the video. Uh, this is so that I can display the names of the tags that are getting scanned. So, for example, when I scan with my tag, the name comes up, says welcome. However, when I scan with my girlfriend's tag, name comes up, access denied. The next part that you're going to want to get is an RFID module. Typically, when you order a module, you'll get cards with it. This specific RFID module is bi-directional, meaning you can scan it from both the top and the bottom and it'll read the same. As this is a prototype and we haven't got the magnetic lock yet, we'll be using the onboard LED of my relay module to symbolize the output. You of course need yourself an Arduino and some jumper wires. As this is a modular based project, the wiring is really simple. So on the screen, you'll see the names of the three modules that I'm using. So I have my LCD module, my relay, and my RFID. Next to the LCD, I've wrote I squared C, which is the protocol that the LCD uses. And over near the RFID, I've put SPI, which is the protocol that the RFID uses. For our LCD, we have VCC, which we connect to 5 volts. We have a ground pin, which we connect to ground on the breadboard. We have a data pin, which we connect to A4. And we have our clock pin, which we connect to A5. For our relay, we've got our plus, which we put to 5 volts. We have our negative, which we put to ground. And we have our S, which stands for signal, which we put to any digital pin. But I'm going to use pin 8. Last but not least, we have our RFID module, which has 8 pins. However, it only uses 7 of them. IRQ is not connected. So starting from the top, we have 3.3 volts, goes to 3.3 volts on our breadboard. Ground goes to ground. Reset goes to digital pin 9. MISO to pin 12, MOSI to pin 11, like I said before, IRQ is not connected, CLOCK to D13, SS, SDA, which is our data line, to pin 10. So, to begin the wiring, I recommend you just get all your parts together, along with some jumper wires. Uh, you put in all your pins, you put your female to male wires, you get them all set up ready. So the first component that I'm going to put in is the LCD module. So as I said earlier in the pin layout, if we look on the back, it's got our ground, VCC, SDA and SCL. Now I'm just going to put this into the board. I'll put it down here. Now that the LCD is put in, uh, I'll start connecting some jumper wires from the Arduino, starting with a 5 volt line. So that 5 volt line goes into our breadboard. I'll now put a ground wire into the breadboard. So now we have power to this top section of our power rail on the breadboard. As you can see by this gap here, uh, this is two different segments. So now let's start powering up the LCD. What we're going to do is we're going to connect uh, from our positive to our VCC pin, from our ground to our ground pin, and from A4 and A5 to clock and air. Once the LCD is wired correctly, the screen should light up. Be careful when connecting any of these modules, because obviously if you, if you put the positive and negative in the wrong way around, uh, it can sometimes break the device, cause fire, smoke. So just make sure you're careful when connecting the rest of these modules, including the LCD. We'll now wire up our relay. As you can see, it's got S for signal, positive to our positive rail, and negative to our negative. We'll put our S, as I said, in the digital pin 8. So let's wire it up. So the final part of the wiring is the RFID module itself. Uh, so as you can see, it's got seven connections coming out of it. And as, as said in the pin layout, this is the three volt, the reset, the ground, misses out IRQ, then you've got MISO, MOSI, SCK, and SD at the end. So simply follow the pin layout for the RFID module, and you should be able to connect this up very quickly. Once the RFID module is wired up, uh, a red LED should show right at the top. This lets you know that it's turned on and it's ready to start working. 
Once you've finished wiring the RFID module, simply connect your Arduino to your laptop uh, and upload the code. Uh, make sure you read through the code so that you find out how to connect this card to the RFID module. Uh, inside the code has got a little scanner that will pop up on your serial monitor what number this card is. And then you simply have to enter that number where it tells you to further down in the code. But once you've done all that and you've got it all up and working, as you can see, it works perfectly. What you can do is, of course, change what the LCD says, change how long the relay is on for. Uh, some further improvements could also include adding LEDs. For example, a green LED for when someone's allowed in, a red LED for when there's access denied, for example. Uh, please make sure to tell me about any improvements that you do make. If you have enjoyed today's video, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content in the future.